welcome back to another lippy review. So while I do have the sample size of this, it's not the full size, admittedly, but it'll work exactly the same, so it's totally fine. But we've got the Yves Saint Laurent uh, Rouge Pour Couture in Le Rouge. So I got this in one of those Sephora sampler sets last year. I think it was the uh, Give Me More Lip set. Something along those lines, anyway. So it is, like, a very, very beautiful red shade. And even for being a sample size, straight up, that's a very decent amount. Like, that'll still last me a good while. So I have no complaints. Plus, the full size of this, it's about double the amount that's in here, but it's a $38 lipstick. The set in which I bought that in only cost about $10 more than that for, like, all of the products in there. So, you know, I'm quite happy with this. I, yeah, this is fine. This is totally fine. But just know, full size is about double what's here. So, format-wise, it is a lipstick. I just showed you it, but, I mean, our packaging it looks like that. It's got the slanted applicator on it. Standard lipstick fair. Has the YSL logo on it. Um, admittedly, because it's so shiny, it picks up every fingerprint known to man on it, so you're constantly having to wipe it off to get those off of there. So, just a personal pet peeve, but I mean, not the end of the world by any means. So, there's that. So, this uh, sample size is like 1.2 grams. I believe the full size is something like three something grams, like 3.8, something like that. So, and in ounces, this is 0 0.03 ounces, and the full size is 0 0.13 ounces. So, is what it is. <laughs> so, anyway, um, it's lipstick, so it's synthetic, obviously. Uh, not limited edition, not medicated, no SPF, no special features. I don't think it has a scent. I mean, it's lipstick, so... Oh no, I got a hair on it. There. That ah, oh no, I got it on my nose. No. Anyway, um Yeah, it's got like the tiniest, tiniest little bit of standard lipstick fragrance. That's all. <laughs> no no like perfuminess to it. So I'm gonna carefully swatch on the hand first, like one swipe. Oh okay. It's like that. So it's going to be a bit patchy. I'll probably have to build it up a bit. And I'll probably do a few layers and lock it in with blotting and layer up. But let's see how it goes on. Huh? That already feels really nice. Holy shit. Okay, all right. There we go. Not bad for a first application. Not at all, especially for doing it in the viewfinder. And that is like a very nice vibrant red, which you know I am always here for. I live for those vibrant reds. They are my favorite. I do realize with the current hair color, a little bit clashy, but you know what? I don't care. I love it anyway. That's not going to stop me, none. <laughs> so um, I think with a different eye color, it would look better. If I wore a more muted eye, I didn't think this out in when I did my eye makeup today, but that's okay. Uh, let me go ahead and do the little blot blot thing and put on another layer over it to lock it in more. So it mattifies down when you do that, as do, like, all. <laughs> but, um, let's top it up. It's, like, so lightweight now, though. That is mind-blowing. Holy shit. Like, it literally doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything.
I mean, even when it's freshly applied, it doesn't feel like you're wearing much. I mean, you can tell there's, like, the subtle greasy factor of it's just lipstick, but other than that, it's so lightweight. Like, I am not over that. It's so nice. <laughs> so, let me blot one more time, and we'll do one more layer over the top. Because I really like to lock it in. But you guys know that, who've been here a while. And when you do that, it doesn't transfer too bad. So, if you want the color without all the transferring, a little life hack for you. So, but I am going to go ahead and top it up one more time. I just knocked down a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to keep it from going all over. I don't know if it'll work, but one more. Okay. So we're all locked and loaded in. We've got that beautiful satiny finish. Oh, I missed a little. Or I screwed it up, one or the other. Now I went out of the lines because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Yeah, close enough. And before I do anything else, I'm going to hit stop so I can do my thumbnail picture. Um, and I will also wash it off of my hand real quick, um, just so it doesn't set and stain too badly. And then we'll come back and do the rest of the review, so give me a minute. Alrighty, so we went and did that. I'm going to look at it in the mirror, and okay, I like it even more now that I saw it in person and not just on the viewfinder. <laughs> um... And you guys who've been here a while know that when it comes to, like, the bright red lipsticks, I always make the comparison, is it a Judy Garland red or is it a Liza Minnelli red? This one is a Liza red because it is a warm, kind of orange red versus a cool bluish red. So, yay for Liza reds. But, um, so this washed off my hand very easily, which is good for makeup removal purposes, but doesn't give me the greatest confidence in the drink test. So I'm like, mm, don't know how bad it's going to come off, but I guess we're going to find out pretty quick here. But it does feel really, really nice on. And this one feels like a lipstick that won't dry your lips out from wearing it, which again is a wonderful thing and something I don't encounter nearly often enough, it feels like. Um, but I always love the satin finish ones. They just are so pretty to me. I love them. So let's go ahead and do the drinky tears. Got the red all over the side of the mug. Uh, so far, we're looking okay ish. And that's as much drink as I had in there, so. <laughs> Ooh, boy, smears though. Ugh. Alright, so fair warning, this will. Move around on you as you eat and drink, but, um, ultimately, color-wise, looks like it stays put, at least for not coming off <laughs> in as much as that. Um, then again, I locked it in, so if I only had a single layer, I don't know, but I would always recommend any lipstick, always lock it in for better longevity, but ultimately, I like this one, so I'm thinking... Price-wise, I still feel like it's too goddamn high, but I usually feel that way about more expensive <laughs> lipsticks, so that's just a me thing. Um, let me think. Smear's pretty dang easy. Not gonna lie. That, I'm not as wild about. Obviously, it's gonna transfer like a beast. Never claimed not to, but... Um, but other than that, I really, really like it. So for me... I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I still recommend it if you like higher-end lipsticks and things and want a really good, punchy red. This one's a good one. So, they do make other colors. It's not a huge line or anything, but they do have other colors in there, so it's worth checking out. But, 
anyway that is it from me guys so as usual you know what to do if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload leave comments down below make sure you're following my social media accounts my facebook fan page my twitter my instagram my etsy everything and more it's all down below and if you like what i do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it the donation link as always is down in the description anyway guys till next time see ya